Jaguar Land Rover announced in February that it plans to make its luxury car brand, Jaguar, all electric by 2025. This move is part of the bold new reimagined strategy launched by the CEO. The reimagined strategy seeks to reimagine the future of modern luxury. With initiatives in place to transform Jaguar into a pure electric luxury brand and net zero carbon business by 2039. The question that begs to be asked is, why this sudden announcement? And what exactly does it mean for the UK-based car maker? What influenced the decision? Jaguar Land Rover's decision to move to electric vehicles was brought about to meet the UK government's ban on pure internal combustion engine cars by 2030. In fact, in 2020, JLR had to pay a fine of around £35 million for missing EU emissions reduction targets. Many countries across the globe have announced when they will ban internal combustion engines, such as Norway by 2025 and France by 2040. Although JLR's transition to all-electric vehicles can be attributed to emission laws, it is not the only reason why the company announced this decision. Human-Sized Among Giants 2020 was a difficult year for the Jaguar brand due to the impact of the global pandemic and the increasing popularity of electric vehicles. After sales reaching a peak of 180,000 units following the launch of the F-Pace and the E-Pace crossovers, these numbers dropped to just 102,000 globally last year. In contrast, Land Rover sold 323,000 vehicles last year. CEO Bellore described Jaguar Land Rover as human-sized among giants in the automotive industry, and the company believes the transition to solely manufacture electric vehicles could work to their advantage as they have a chance to reinvent the Jaguar brand and elevate their position in the automotive industry by embracing new technology ahead of some of the competition. The competition is strong. Jaguar Land Rover is not the only automotive company that plans on transitioning to all electric vehicles in the coming future, so they are going to have to up their game big time if they hope to compete. Luxury car brand Bentley Motors, owned by Germany's Volkswagen, also recently announced that its whole range would be fully electric by 2030. US-based General Motors stated that it's aiming to transform its entire lineup of light-duty vehicles into electric vehicles by 2035. In addition to that, most major automakers also have plans to move to all-electric production. Electric XJ Scrapping At the moment, Jaguar Land Rover only has one fully electric vehicle in its arsenal, the Jaguar I-Pace SUV which was actually manufactured by an external contractor. Despite garnering some praise, the car has struggled to perform well against more established car makers. Falling behind the likes of Tesla and Audi, Jaguar had another EV in the oven, but shockingly decided to scrap the anticipated electric Jaguar XJ, which was set to be introduced to the market soon. The company stated that the electric XJ does not fit with their vision for the reimagined strategy. A well-informed Jaguar insider who spoke to the website Car and Driver said that the decision to stop production of the XJ was due to company doubts that the car's combination of performance, price, and range was not attractive enough when compared to the wider market, and they did not think they would be able to sell enough of them. The reason behind JLR's dramatic shift make a lot of sense when you look into the future, but what steps is the company taking to implement these changes? Three new architectures? To facilitate the move to all electric vehicles, JLR will use three different architectures, two of which will be dedicated to Land Rover and a new pure BEV platform that will be exclusive to the Jaguar brand. The future Land Rover models will be built on the modular longitudinal architecture, which allows for combustion engine and EV models, and the electric modular architecture, EMA, which they say can also support advanced electrified combustion engines. The company says that the transition to three platforms and the consolidation of the number of platforms and models produced per plant will allow Jaguar Land Rover to establish new benchmark standards in efficient scale and quality for the luxury sector and ensure it can retain its UK-based and other international manufacturing plants. 
The company plans to bankroll the transition to all-electric vehicles by annually investing £2.5 billion into electrification and related technologies. The Land Rover brand of Jaguar Land Rover is said to continue producing a range of powertrains, but with a heavy focus on electrification to ensure that 60% of all Land Rover sales will be pure electric by 2030. The company has stated that it plans to produce six pure electric Land Rover variants that will be part of the Discovery and Defender ranges. With the brand's first electric vehicle scheduled to enter the market in 2024, the move to focus on electrification, but also continue to offer combustion engines for the foreseeable future, is a favorable decision for Land Rover because it means the brand will continue to produce cars for markets where its products are popular but electrification is not as developed. In conclusion, Jaguar Land Rover has pounced upon the opportunity to enter the EV market early and establish itself as one of the heavyweights. Although many are questioning the decision with doubts about the level of demand for expensive luxury electric vehicles, some are welcoming this transformation and see a bright future ahead for Jaguar and Jaguar Land Rover. What are your views on the transition and the reimagined strategy? Leave your comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.